the Ballymenach Standing Stones. The beautiful Ballymenach Standing Stones are an important part of Kilmartin's prehistoric ceremonial landscape. This site is at the heart of the once and still sacred landscape. The name Ballymenach translates from Scots Gaelic as Middle Settlement. At Ballymenach we have six standing stones divided into a row of two and a row of four which are 40 metres apart. These rows are orientated towards key solar and lunar events which is testament to the understanding of cosmic cycles held by the ancient people. It's possible these standing stones stood at the end of a processional avenue which approached from the southeast. The four stone row. The four stone row is aligned to the winter solstice sunrise. This very important solar event falls on December the 21st, which is the day of the year with least daylight. The face of the two middle stones are heavily cut marked and these megaliths may have come from a much earlier decorated outcrop like the nearby Achnabrek rock art site and transported here as beliefs changed over time. Notice how the four stones rise in height like the hill in the background. The highest megalith in the south is just over 4 metres high with the smallest stone being 2.75 metres. The two stone row. This two stone row is in line to the midsummer most southerly full moonrise. The tallest stone is 3 metres high while the other stone is 2.7 metres tall. The individual stones were set standing in a pit with the base packed in place by smaller stones. One of these pits held three portions of human bone which was cremated. This was placed in the pit at the same time the megalith was erected. A hold stone once stood in the east in the late 19th century. In 1943, a storm caused this stone to fall. It now lies beside the nearby kerb cairn. The base was removed and excavated in 1977. Beneath the stone was three portions of human cremated bone which were radiocarbon dated to between 3,370 and 3,050 years ago. The cremation lay in a pit that supported the stone. Local tradition had these hold stones as a way to seal deals or a promise to marriage.